Uh, hello, in this video I want to show you a new upcoming feature in, Net, in Net, uh, Refire 1.8.0.4 and it's called Particle Flow Support. So here's my simple Particle Flow event. Uh, just a generation of a bunch of boxes. Not to match them, I will set here like 500%. So here's my particles, simple boxes. I generate them and uh, then she, then they dies after about uh, 31 frame. So uh, what happens? Uh, what new feature? How new feature works? That it takes uh, particles shape which just about to die and uh, convert it to object and uh, start simulation at further. So uh, all you need to do there there are no any new box uh, check boxes or spinners or any buttons. All you need to do is just to add this particle flow in the simulation properties list here. And whenever the particle will be about to die, refire will start simulated further. So this is how it works. As you can see here, particles start dying. So if I will start simulation right now here. As you can see, ray fire starts simulating further. And now they are actual objects. And uh, here's my simulation. So as you can see, uh, this object uh, already waiting their particles here, but uh, right now they are invisible. Zero. And uh, here, let's take a look at this one. So as you can see, it's already here, but you don't see it. And when it, its particle just comes, here's this one thing. And when it matches its position, now it becomes visible. One now. And refire start simulated further. So in this way you can create a lot of objects, big simulations, just using particle flow. And if you don't like result, you can delete it. Let's wait a second. And uh, go to particle flow properties, change shape, maybe assign another shape like using shape uh, instance operator. And uh, I want to use this one, my custom shape. And as you can see now. Particle flow start generates these shapes, and there are too much of them right now. I think I will decrease it to 50%. And again, I here I can change its size, add some variation, make them bigger or less. Start simulation again. Again, here's my simulation. Uh, Refire will assign properties uh, for this new object, taking them from the dynamic impact object list. So right now it uses boxes for simulation uh, and heavy metal as material. So I can set it to convex, and here I will set to let's say. Uh, for stock, and this time I want to create interactive demolition. Here is here it is. I'll decrease my solidity to pretty low value, and start simulation again. Here you can see that now all new fragments 
or if I had demolished them even further. Okay, I'll stop for now. So here's what I already have. As you can see, you can create it just in a few minutes, very quickly and easily. And what I want to try now is, uh, I have here this hidden box. So what I want to do is uh, fragment it into bricks. Here is my bricks. Now I will send them into slipping list here. And as you can see, my dead object feature is on, and I will increase probably revive by velocity property up to say 40. Um, I will move it to the upper with this. And this time I want these rocks, actually, let's demolish them as well. And uh, my fragmentation type I will turn back to Voronoi uniform. And uh, but material solidity I will crank up maybe 1.3. So everything is okay. Let's try another pass simulation. Okay, my simulation is almost finished and uh, I just stopped it just to see how it works. And as you can see, there are almost uh, two, uh, 4,216 fragments. And I think I will not be able to show this uh, in real time because there are just too much fragments. So I think I will create preview and show you the preview. So here's the preview from the top view. And another one I will create from the back of this wall. Say from here. And here's preview from the back of the wall. Hope you like this new feature and thanks for watching.